all right my dear so in this video total you will learn you are going to learn about stain energy as well as one numerical problem which has been asked in gate 2007 and that question was asked for two marks i hope two marks is much more in gate right so uh, basically what is stain energy so energy is one kind of things which is having capability to do work and strain strain energy that means which is producing because of strain okay now uh, what is denoted by strain energy how we can denote we uh, denote strain energy by capital u right and capital u is equal to some basic formula that is half t theta the basic formula is this but as the numerical problem ask in gate 2007 you cannot solve that numerical problem by using this basic formula that is why i wanted to make you understand its basic concept as well as the formula we needed to solve the numerical problem okay so what is that formula they have used here that is the equation of torsion you can say that torsion equation they have used what it said t by j is equal to tau by r is equal to g theta by l now as you can see here we can write what we can write instead of theta if i will remove this one then what we can say we can also relate with this one but according to that formula we don't require this even you will what re relation i am going to just find out by using this relation you have probably read somewhere because in there are many books there are many guys i have seen they are using this equation to make you remember the formula that's why i will not face problem in the examination while solving numerical problem okay so t by j is equal to g theta by l so what would be theta theta is equal to t l by g j if i will put this value here then what i will get u is equal to half t t l g j so what will happen t square l by 2 g j this is the formula for finding out strain energy even somewhere they have related with shear stress also okay that is different thing okay but here uh, yeah you can also relate with shear stress how let me share with you let me take this relation so theta is equal to tau into l r tau into l r g so we can find out u is equal to half t into tau into l by rg so 2rg t tau l okay so this is we can also have this relation also we can have this relation but this one is most popular one t square l by 2 gj so by using this relation we can solve the numerical problem which has been asked in k 2007 for two marks i'm sure you wanted to see that numerical problem one and one of course wanted to learn how to solve that numerical problem right <clears throat> so don't worry i'm just going to make you understand and show you that numerical problem i have already written yeah this is the numerical problem which is just right now in front of you you can read the question also but this question has been as i have already shared that this question has been asked in gate 2007 okay so according to this question what this question said a step steel shaft shown below which is subjected to torque so what we have given already torque is equal to 10 newton meter don't forget to get all these things right if the modulus of rigidity that is denoted by g is 80 gigapascal okay the strain energy in the shaft the strain energy in the shaft so we have to find out u in newton mm in newton mm so you should have to remember this one that you have to find out newton mm but the values given this is if we remove this g then pascal newton per meter square in si this is also given in si so first we have to convert this into mm before solving the problem 
that's why will not face the you know at least uh, numerical value i mean numerical value problem numerical value problem uh, answer but yes uh, we can easily do it right so what we have to do 10 into 1000 newton yeah, mm done with first one and the second one just i need to multiple 1000 because megapascal means newton per mm square and this one become newton per m square so all unit has been set to solve the numerical problem now the main is, main thing is that we are having two step but we know what u is equal to t square l by 2 gj we are having l we are having t v g and j what is j basically j is polar moment of inertia what is polar moment of inertia if you will see it like this this is you know this uh, sharp they have share with us and we have to use this formula pi by 32 j to uh, j pi by d to the power 4 this is the formula for finding out polar moment of inertia for this is circular cross section in cylindrical they are get taking cylindrical that's why you know you will get like this only a circular because of the circular we are using this formula you should not forget this one right <coughs> now because we are having two step here now we, what common common things we are getting here g is g is common l is common because both the length are same t is common so what we can do we can do strain energy is equal to t square l 2g j1 t square l 2g j2 now what we can get common here t square l 2g 1 by j1 and 1 by j2 right now what is j1 and what is j2 we need to understand but before going to do that we can do like here 10 l is 100 to 80 into 1000 now j1 is pi by 32 so this will become upside into d d is how much we have given 50 to the power 4 again 32 pi into d is 25 to the power 4 so this the unit of this problem will come out in newton per m i'm sorry newton mm which is which has been as given in the numerical problem okay so how we can find out its value that is important let me share with you how we can find out suppose that this is 10 into 1000 uh, sorry 10 into 1000 uh, square into 100 divided 2 into 80 into 1000 what we got here six two five zero zero right now we'll do this one 30 divided sorry five multiple 50 to the power 4 okay plus 32 divided pi into 25 to the power and I have to use another bracket here so this become this multiple 6 to 5 double 0 yeah this answer is how much we are getting here 1.7316 Newton mm okay so this is this is here C the right answer is C so let me just review again what we have used here we have seen the question we have find out what we got values here we got the formula which has been we have derived here i mean i mean use the torsion equation and its strain energy basic formula for its strain energy and what happened after using these two we have been able to find out the main key concept i mean the key formula and after getting key formula we have seen that we have given two step and two different size of you know shaft so we have to use two formulas and both because both for both the cases strain energy would be different because the formula is different 
okay so if you know if both the step uh, both the step given same i mean same size the difference why the difference the main difference is here 25 if it it has been given 50 then we can do one thing we can just find out for one and multiple with two we could do that but in this question we have given different that's why what we did with this uh, we have followed this step to find out the answer i hope you understand its basic concept as well as how to find out numerical problems related to strain energy thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye